Hello friends, what's going on? This is Crispy. We're playing 6180 the moon. Saying it correctly, sort of, in another way. Venus today. What's going on in Venus? As the moon returns to Venus, she looks up from her mirror. Oh no. Hello moon, where are you going now? You found the sun, I presume? Hmm, yes I did, and now I'm traveling back to see him again, since it will be nighttime soon. That rhymes even. I like it. What's going on with other stuff? But they appreciate the sun more than you, don't they? Ah, oh, do not plant these evil thoughts in my mind, you temptress. Perhaps but they look up to me more often than they do the sun. That's uh, because the sun hurts, bud. The sun not cool. Without darkness, light can't be appreciated. Farewell and good luck. Well, thank you for completely changing your attitude on the other way. Thank you, Venus. See you next orbit. All right. Let's go through Venus's levels backwards, shall we? Let's see what we can do. Um, oh my. All right. Let's collect that right away. And then run. Ooh. Yep, I'm gonna need the power of bounce. To bounce my way through this situate. Is that how it's gonna work? That feels wrong on multiple levels. That worked ostensibly, but now I'm not gonna. Ooh, okay. By accidentally using screen tearing technology, I made it through there. I don't think that was what you were supposed to do. That was, though. I'll take that. I, yeah, I didn't. I don't think you were supposed to use the corner to uh, escape the fate there, but that's what I did. But then I died like a foolish fool. Met my end, forgetting how spikes work. That is that is how I would die in a real life situation in the, a video game like this. If I were like you know, um, think back in time, way back in time, probably before some of your times, some of the people watching this inane spectacle of me jumping into spikes. Um, Are You Afraid of the Dark had an episode. And I'm not exactly sure anymore of the context of the episode. That was almost the white block. But, uh, basically, a child was warped into a video game. I believe it was a pinball machine, actually. Hey, yeah, it did count. And, um, oops. And... Basically, they had to refight their way through the whole thing, and the kid performed admirably, you know, showing that true determination and blur 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 and mastery of a video game can bring success in the future and stuff like that. But I don't think that that was the most accurate thing I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure that the situations provided in the video game would probably a shock the shit out of you and b not be uh something you could learn like the kid was like okay oh i know where all the weapons are okay cool you know where all the weapons are you got a squirt gun interesting how well does that squirt gun stand up against the test of time how good are you at actually shooting a gun you know to quoth ego raptor the more you have to do deal with things analogous to reality the more you have to stipulate on and, um, yeah, you're not playing pinball anymore. You are now shooting a gun at an ancient 300-year-old wizard who is probably a little more familiar with the terrain that you're fighting on than you. Yeah, I went backwards there to, uh, re-establish some control because I am just dying all over the house and it's a little saddening. Like, that, I don't even, I can't even explain that. What's going on here? My skills. Everything I've learned. Obviously, I'm taking my own shenanigans and rambling to heart a little too hard. Because I'm just... I'm playing a regular video game. I'm not even transported to a new world. And I'm just, uh... Failing the test of time here. <laughs> the speed is ruining my life. Whoa. Speaking of speed ruining my life, watch me just... Launch to nowhere! Let's keep trying to do that. Oh, let's keep not that, that same spike. And I'm stuttering now because I'm just like, oh, video games are too difficult for an old man like me past seven o'clock. There we go. So then, a block there, gonna disappear here. Land on it, please. Eventually, ostensibly. That will work. That will function. That will become the truth. In doing so, I have immortalized. If that's a word, don't think it is. Jump the large thing. 
That is my mission. Over the spikes. Through the world. And then that thing's just gonna try to block me there. Yo! No longer. Your shackles have freed me. How dare I live? Uh oh. <laughs> that, that did not. That was not the, uh, the thing to do. It was actually the un thing to do. But I still made it because the game was just like, you know what, just, just, give him, just give him this one. He needed something to reinstill his confidence and he got it. VR7 done. Come on, I'm going backwards. Like, this one's taking me a good chunk of time. Just like the first time, I believe Venus was a sticking point in our earlier adventure. Was it not? But now I'm kind of cruising along. I've got my groove back here. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, this was the level that gave me, like, threw me into histronic fits, really. This was the, uh, the level of sadness and learning. And it's like, hey, don't try to launch yourself headlong into things. Just screen wrap, my man. <laughs> Just use the fact that the screen wraps and stop being a big old dummy. Yeah, big old dummy. Beautiful piano chimes. Soothing. Letting me live my life the way I wish. Although, giant donuts. Square donuts, mind you. Blocking my way. Less so. Ooh. Alright, get put back to the piano thing so I can bounce them away with my, my hope and sorrow. Destroy them as fast as possible. There we go. Eep. Resave, even though it does nothing. Come on. That was the same thing that you just did. You foolish fool. When will you learn? Let me try to get rid of some of these a little better. Get out of my life, magical chimes. Your whimsy is not required here. Only your silence. Your silent, obedient consent. Eep. There we go. That got me through. The downswing was the truth there. Three. Whoop. <laughs> right, through, right through everything to the spike lands. You deserved your pain. Hopefully it taught you humility. Doubtful. <laughs> Doubtful video game. Few things can teach me humility. Uh, uh, not Okay, running into those spikes a couple times might be just what I ordered. But there we go. I made it to the exit despite your warnings. Bounce. Bounce. Grab. Flip. Yes, this is what I asked for. Ah, uh, it worked! Obstensibly, ah, uh, it kind of worked. It would have worked if it weren't for those meddling kids and their dog. Oop. Uh, I pressed jump, I thought, but then the game said no, I didn't. Whoa, there we go. Ah, uh ha! -huh. I had my timing ready for that one. I was just kind of mashing B there. So... This obstacle. That's doable, I hesitated. So, whoop, whoop, I hesitated a little more than that. Not that direction. More hesitating, won me the day. That's what that did. Ding. Uh-oh, <laughs> it worked though. The magnetic attraction of the circle truly pulled me along there. Helped me win the day. That is makeable without your sunlight. Video game, you cannot trick me. I will keep the sun as often as I wish. Finding sun mode could lead me somewhere, but now I need to visit the people of Earth. Hey, you've grown back some hair already, buddy. I mean, did the humans die? Like, thanks to you helping the sun, I've been thinking about what you asked me, or what did I ask the Earth? Oh yeah, what, what do they do for you? Those evil men and women who destroy your face. I found my answer. Well, let's hear it, Gaia. What is your answer? Tell me truly. Is it because you're, you know, just kind of a, a ball that we anthropomorphized into a person? Yes, that's exactly why. Because I am their mother. That's kind. That's a nice sentiment. Armstrong. Oh! Ha! Jokes! He put a flag there. No longer living, but he talked about you all the time. <laughs> yeah, he did. Humans have such short lifespans. Yeah, we do. Take good care of them, Mother Earth. 
is a shame. We are finite beings. The Earth 10! Let's do this thing. Weep. Oh, bouncy time. Bouncy time to the death. Not what we wanted. There we go. That's what we wanted. Two bouncy times. But only two. <laughs> and then, ba -ba bouncy time. Those are bouncy. Spikes are not bouncy. I will warn you again. Spikes have a propensity to be sharp and less bouncy than one could hope about spikes. Oh boy. Yeah, I got myself into comet mode and then you can't fucking move because it's a video game. Hoop. Big jump! Ah, big jump. Large failures. Whoop, whoop, yep, okay. Let's not have trouble with stuff we just fucking did, game. There we go. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Remove all obstacles. Engage in full life learning again. Becoming one with your future self. There we go. Through the world. What is next? Ernine. I like how they just like added a letter. They're like, let's let's keep spelling the the letter that the thing. Let's keep spelling the word they're on. That will be a gimmick we can disguise. I like I'm any better with my uh, my philosopher, you know, fake intelligent world because you know I realize that I am kind of snagging those things out of order. You know what I mean? Like the game isn't really touching on the things that I'm exploring through that gimmick. The more I think about it. I'm kind of just taking those quotes out of context. The quotes are real, and they are from the written things that I'm snagging them from. But, on the whole, they're talking about a lot larger things in context. Like, especially Nietzsche. If I'm even saying his fucking name right, I've always had trouble pronouncing that one. Whoop. Didn't quite get it, but there's the save point. But yeah, like, they go a lot more into detail on a lot more topics than what I'm just kind of brazenly stealing their names for here. But I'm pretty sure that's kind of what philosophy's for, you know what I mean? You can use it in any context you want. Because generally, the world just isn't real and we're all kind of <laughs> living our own lives throughout it. Regardless of what the world says. So, how am I supposed to do this now? Because this does not want me to win the game very much. I suppose I can low ball rotate to... No! That was my shot! That was my one ch my chance to blow. Because opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo. That also is a good bit of philosophy there. Eminem was not wrong. Although in this game, opportunity comes quite frequently because you get to restart the same level all over and over. Bing. I made a big hole. Now just go slow down. Yep, see that? That's the key. Is doing that more. Ugh. Set. Ah, oh, damn it. This one is actually kind of, uh, hope you made a good hole, buddy. <laughs> that time I did. I did make a good hole that time. I believe in me. There we go. That one got it. So what's this one about? This one's about remembering how to jump good. Vid jump good the video game. Is, is that Mario? Not quite. I, okay, this one isn't actually that bad. I just need to be more gooder at my video gaming shenanigans. Yeah, see? Just arc right over. All else fails, just go in the direction you need to go. Woo, buddy, that was a little spooky. Whoa, that was way spooky. All the speed. All of my skill. Placed into one small container. Placed upon the counter with care. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Just, you know, describing scenes from a monologue I'll never write. Something like that. Yeesh. Spike time. Okay. Those are all solid. Those are all bouncy. Beware the bouncy, you know. Beware the beware the false Santa. I've done. I feel. Well, um, duh. I mean, I have done this before. I feel like I've done this before, guys. Yeah, it's because this level existed 
You're doing the backwards version now. Remember the context of the video game that you're playing. This level. This is all bounties, isn't it? Yep. All concentrated into one spot. That was kind of a throwaway level. I'm, actually, they're all going to be kind of that way now, aren't they? Like, tech. well, I say that and I die. But technically, all of these levels are levels that we've beaten, and they should be getting easier with time, not harder. There we go. Just had to remember to double dutch there. Two per side. Yeah, you're going to be interesting, aren't you? Yeah, that's not going to cut it. Ah, cut it. Get it. It's a joke. Ostensibly, it's a joke. So I could just kind of go loop to floop. Flip the lip. Chip the ripper. I haven't seen anything from that guy in a while. Make that happen. Er one! Alright, kids. We're all the way to Earth Sector Gamma Mega G. That's how you die. Don't do that. Okay, so what I want, actually, is to bounce along to the 90s there. Oh. Uh-oh. Yep, I need to flip through. Oh, and so you're supposed to quietly bounce along there, my friend. And not ricochet into spikes so violently. They, they do... They're not nice, spikes. They do mean things to your physiology as a child. Middle one may not be destined for victory. I might have to try to arc past the middle. Where this one is training you to go for both. This one is teaching you that... Maybe the one guy does not have your best interest in heart, you know? Maybe they're trying to tell you something. About yourself. And about the friends that you hang around with. Yeah, see? Easily avoided if you just go for the middle. Er one completed. Uh, normally I would stop. But it's time to find closure. What's going on on the moon? Turn to my orbit and see the sun in the distance. Oh, it's already beginning to sink low into the sky. Your time in the sky is already over. Don't race towards the sun. I, I would appreciate not having the heat death of the universe on my hands. Okay, Moon Village. Let's do this. Moon Village. Upside down. Okay. Moon Village upside down. I died right off the bat. Easiest levels in the game. Let's see if they get any harder with time on our side. It appears, yes. It, the answer appears to be, of course they would. Why would you think otherwise? Yes, because now it's going to be a question of placement. With reverse gravity in tow. Things are going to be more about where did you put yourself. And thinking through your jumps. Okay, that's fine. I can accept this as truth for now. Take that checkpoint. And for good reason, apparently. I'm the best at just destroying my own life. Best at ruining my own life? Because, yeah, which one is the song? Because one of those is a From Autumn to Ashes song, and that's probably a band name you guys haven't heard in quite some time, if ever. Woo! Because I am not old, but I'm older than some of you. Whoa, now, um, what do I do here? This looks like a problem to be solved. Yep, it was. It was a problem to be solved, and I solved it with jumping. Good job, Moon Wreck-It. Wreck-It Ralph, Moon Rocker. I'm totally flubbing words out of my mouth here. Just throwing them out. <laughs> Tossing them out like a sail. Yep. boo Okay. There that is. Between... I'm doing this like the most dangerous way possible. For reasons that I have even yet to understand. There we go. Moon Village 6. We're just kind of traveling backwards in time. The music here is really interesting. Like... I don't know how what the vibe I'm getting is, but it's it's really kind of it's calm, but it keeps you going forward. I 
really, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm almost like I'm forgetting if it's part of the actual regular Moon Village. Was Moon Village one calmer? It feels like it may have been. Man, this is the one thing that this game was missing more of, the maze aspect of the warps. I was really enjoying that in the sun level too. But the game was kind of like, you know what's better than you know what's better than mazes? Spikes. <laughs> as I as I jump right into one as as though in demonstration. Also there, that too. Spikes all day long. More spikes. It's like level's not hard enough, add spikes. It's the so I want to be the guy school of design. <laughs> Don't go there. It's It can be fun, but only if you're very good at placing spikes and understand that, you know, people have a finite amount of patience. And even that is variable. People's patience. I am a much more patient guy when it comes to playing hard games, like, you know, platformy hard games, than most. So this just is an, it's an opportunity to jump up. I will take that. And a level one. The level, the levelest one of levels. I don't see any dangers at all. Welcome to Snake Land. Brighter than sunshine, the moon meets the sun again. Hello, moon. You are back, I see. You know, the sun's the only one who hasn't really given us any shit. Also exhausted from all this traveling across the solar system, perhaps... Next time you can be the one to move? A little too out of shape to move that far. Yes, see, heliocentric universe coming back to bite us in the ass, man. He is the one with the gravity. Well, it's your turn to disappear now. At least for a while. That's sad. I have to descend in order for you to rise. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no! I have to drop controllers in order for life to happen. Come back here. There we go. Too much light if you don't like to. Maybe just enough for a half moon. Like, oh, I'm, I'm being nice to the sun. You and I both exist because of the other. Because of the darkness of, of night, there must be the light of day. We balance each other. It is, it is a symbiotic relationship. Although, in reality, the only importance of the moon, other than the tidal waves, is that which we give it. <clears throat> and all things are a part of everything. Hooray. Yeah, the only real importance of the moon is that, you know, we give it importance. And that might be the lesson of the entire game? Question mark? Everything is, you know, we are all, all is one. Either way. This was 6180, the moon. It was a fun little game while it lasted. Next time, something different. I will see you guys then.